In a previous video, I showed you how to measure the diameter of capacitors, and I have ordered those capacitors from Mouser. And it's in a nice sturdy box with the material shipped, and each value capacitor separated into its own separate bag. So, easy to determine which is which. And now I'm going to install them into the board. Prior to removing the capacitors, I made a little diagram of where each capacitor was, gave it a letter, and the value of the capacitor. So this one is 470, that's A, so that would be right there. B is 1000, and that's right there. So. I would just associate that with right there on the actual circuit board. Uh, the 1000 microfarad capacitor would go there. So, just wanted to show you that because it's important to be able to remember where the capacitor came from on the actual board when it comes to installing them. So, I've replaced these capacitors here this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. And now I'm going to hook it into the circuit and see how well it works. So here's the monitor that the power board is attached to. So just get that out of the way there. Bring in the power board. Okay, so. I have mounted the board, I've connected the control board to the power board, and these fluorescents get hooked in after I put down the external shield here. mount the external shield. Okay, so that's all mounted in there. Fluorescent's hooked up, power's hooked up. Okay, so let's give this a try. I'm just gonna try it with power, no VGA input or DVI. and already it's working much better than it was so let me just do another test and we'll make sure it works so here's the final test the monitor I just repaired is sitting at my computer bench working absolutely fine you can fold around so, so on and so forth and so you can see it's the same one so yeah couple of capacitors later and it's working perfectly.